Get this toy and more at Big Bad Toy Store. Follow the link in the description. Hey YouTube, Rodder Zero here today with a new review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Michonne action figure from Series 3 of McFarlane Toys Walking Dead action figures. Um, this figure is in the same line as Merle, uh, of course the Michonne Pet Zombies and the Autopsy Zombie. Uh, Merle has already been reviewed so make sure to check that out as well as this one. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the packaging because it is exactly the same as the Merle packaging. Uh, it comes in this uh, smaller, more compact uh, blister card. Um, the only real difference is beside the figure is it has a picture of Michonne down there, um, which you can see here at the bottom. It says removable poncho, uh, and that's pretty much it. The back of the package shows the exact same stuff as the Merle packaging, so I'm not going to bother showing that. So we're just going to go ahead, get her out of the package, and take a look at the figure. Okay, so here is the Michonne figure and her accessories. Um, she doesn't come up with as much as some of the other figures, but that's okay. She really doesn't need a lot. All she needs is a katana, and we've seen that in the show many, many times. What she does come with is, of course, her removable poncho, um, which just basically kind of goes... Uh, I'll show you that in a minute, but it kind of just sits on her head uh, and fixes in with these two little tabs that kind of go under her hair. Uh, and then, of course, it comes with the katana, which is pretty nicely detailed. Not bad. Um, pretty accurate representation of her katana from the show. Uh, thankfully, it does actually fit in there, unlike the knife that I don't think fits in Merle's um, sheath on that figure. Uh, but looks pretty good. It looks pretty accurate to the show. So that was pretty cool. Just a soft plastic. Um, so be careful because it kind of does feel like it would break. And it doesn't snap in or anything. You can kind of hear it. Maybe a little bit. Kind of makes like a like a tight sliding noise. So it stays in there pretty good though. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a look at the figure. Uh, the figure is extremely, extremely nicely detailed. Probably my favorite figure thus far from the Walking Dead series. Um, in terms of the accuracy and just overall spot on sculpting. Uh, so detailed in fact that while I was setting up for this particular portion of the review, when I would move this figure around, the facial recognition software was moving around with it uh, on the, on my iPhone here, so that's that's pretty awesome. Um, very nice detail. The face looks, I think it looks just like Dana. Uh, the only problem I had with mine was the eyes seem to be a little bit off as far as the paint. I don't know if that was purposeful, like maybe she's kind of looking off, and it's just depending on how you how you pose the figure or what, but the eyes just kind of looked a little bit off to me. Uh, you can see her necklace there. It's kind of paint. It is actually painted on. It's not kind of painted on. It is painted on. Um, pretty accurate to the clothing that she wears in the show. It's kind of how we first saw her with the pink undershirt and the leather short vest. Um, gloves on each hand. Cargo jeans. And then her folded over boots or sneakers that look pretty filthy. Um, so yeah, very nicely detailed overall. The head sculpt is amazing. Uh, her hair sculpt is pretty on point. Um, I think they did a very nice job with that. Uh, and again, like I said, overall, I think this is probably the best looking figure that we've gotten so far from any of the Walking Dead series. Um, so this, like I said in the Merle review, they just keep getting better. And this excites me for later releases for the rest of the main cast. Um, they're actually doing another Daryl and Merle two-pack. So I don't know if they're updating the sculpt as much as just changing colors, but we'll see on that. But again, like I said, very nice detailing on this, and I, I think they got a they, they hit a home run with this one. Articulation-wise, um, she is a little bit limited just because of her hair, but you do have movement there up and down, side to side. Uh, full 360 ro uh, rotation on the shoulder there. Uh, the joints are a little bit tight because she did just come out of the packaging there, but it does have full rotation up and down at the shoulder. Uh, single joint here at the elbow on both sides. And then the wrist is articulated on a ball joint and also up and down movement there. Um, she does have articulation there at her vest. Uh, nothing at the waistline, just right here at the top of the vest there. Um, the legs, the, the leg articulation on McFarland figures, while they serve a purpose as far as holding a particular pose, they always kind of bug me because the articulation is always really, really weird. Um, it rotates there at the thigh. Doesn't really go front to back very well. You do get a little bit of movement there, but then it just kind of looks weird. Um, mostly the rotation. But these are these are more or less made to kind of hold one particular pose when it comes to the leg. So, 
uh, you know, you, you kind of expect that going in, so it's not really anything to say that, it, that, that it's a negative towards the figure. Uh, single joint there at the knees, and then the foot is on a, I was going to say a ball joint, but it's actually not. It's just front to back there. No side, to, a little bit of side to side, but I think that's just because the, the joint is a little bit loose there, so you do get a little bit of play. Um, and the same thing over here on this side with the articulation. So, uh, not too bad as far as your articulation goes. Like I said with the Merle review, though, the, at least for the Walking Dead figures, these are more, they're not so much meant to be played with as they are, in my opinion, to be displayed. Um, and that's what I do with mine. I mean, of course, everybody plays with toys when they first get them, but eventually that's that's where they end up. They end up posed on the shelf. Um, so, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, one quick thing I forgot to mention before we move along here. The hands are uh, both designed to hold the katana. So you could put it in some sort of two-handed pose or single-handed pose, which is what I plan on doing with mine. So I just want to add that. I just wanted to add that because I forgot to mention that uh, before we move on to this part. And here we go. I'll put the poncho back on here so you can see that. You can see here on the head, there's like openings here in her hair. On both sides and that's where the poncho kind of not necessarily locks in but you kind of put it in there to hold the poncho in place just kind of slide it over and then the the poncho is a really soft rubber material so it just bends back and you just slot it and fix the hair over top of it and there you go you've got Michonne in her poncho of course with the poncho you can't really put the sword sheath on her because it doesn't fit but uh, that's how that goes on Matter of fact, let's put that on. So yeah, I mean, again, I can't say enough about this figure. I was really impressed with it. Um, very happy with how it actually did turn out. Uh, I, I'm excited to see more of these figures. These are, the Walking Dead figures is one of my favorite figure lines right now. Uh, I, I think they just keep getting better and better. And with as hot as the show is right now, these are these are pretty, uh, pretty hard to find, especially Daryl. So I'm excited they're re-releasing a Daryl figure. Um, so yeah, like I said, that's, that's pretty much it for this particular figure. Um, you can pick her up. She is still available. Uh, actually Big Bad Toy Store, which is where I got mine. She is still available there. Um, check down in the description. I will put a link for that. Uh, if I can get her to stand up here. Which is probably not gonna happen. Uh, nope, stand up. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, Definitely, definitely a winner in my book. If you're a fan of The Walking Dead, if you're a fan of Michonne, you're definitely going to want to pick this up, I think. Um, and again, like I said, you can still pick her up at Big Bad Toy Store, and I will provide a link for that. So that's pretty much it for this one. Hope you enjoy the review. There will be more Walking Dead coming up. Uh, I do have both of the pet zombies still to review. I do also have the autopsy, uh, autopsy zombie. I can't say that. I dread that one in the review. Um... Why won't you stand up, Michonne? You're bugging me here. Oh, she tricked me. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hold her here. So yeah, that's pretty much it with this one. Uh, again, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the review. There are more Walking Dead reviews coming, more reviews in general. Um, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Tell me what you want to see next. Getting close to the 600 subscriber mark. Once I get there, I am going to do a giveaway. So stay tuned for that as well. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash rider zero. Uh, you can follow the blog, which I've not updated, but I am going to get around to doing so at rider zero.com. Facebook.com slash rider zero. All that good stuff. Just let me know you're enjoying these things. I do appreciate the feedback. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. Take care.